Welcome back to Georgia Bay Classics. We're here with Glenn Evans from Port Perry, Ontario. And Glenn, great to have you on Georgia Bay Classics. Thank you for inviting Thanks us. Thanks for being with us show. today. Tell us about your spectacular 1929. Well, we bought the car uh, seven years ago. It, uh, it was restored by a gentleman, uh, Frank Watson, who bought it from uh, the Craven A Foundation. They brought the car back uh, in 1970. The car was actually sold to uh, somebody in Argentina in 1929. Um, the guy I worked on for about 25 years uh, trying to restore the car. Obviously, uh, back then you didn't have internet to get all the parts, so he worked on it, put it together, and he passed away before it was completed. So the car was sold at an estate auction to uh, Fred Freeman of Napanee, who actually had Doug Greer Restoration redo the car again. And uh, Fred had this collection of cars for five years before he finally brought it to a Port Hope car show, which we uh, seen it and sort of fell in love with the car. and. Uh, Took me a year to buy it, but we ended up buying the car for I, I mean, it really is it. it is so stunning. Can you tell us a little bit about the engine that's in this car? Looks it's like a, a flat V8. It, yes, it is. It's 341B. It's a uh, high compression V8, flat head. Uh, everything works on. It's got the advanced uh, ignition on it for uh, you know pulling pills and stuff. Give you a bit more power. Um, it's got uh, dual cowl, which has got the rear window in the back here. And, and so far, our viewers, just the dual cowl is really what we're talking about are the windshields themselves, the fact yeah. that you have two separate windshields in the vehicle, and it yeah. is a convertible as it well. It is, it is. Um, the top comes down, leans on the saddles back here. So uh, it's, uh, it's a great car to drive uh, the short distance we do from the trailer to the show, so that we don't actually drive it on the road. We were chatting earlier about these uh, boxes that are located underneath or just above the footboard and the kickboard. Can you tell yeah. us what's what they're for? Well, this side's got the battery box, and on the other side is the toolbox, and uh, the back panels, they just put them in the balance of the sideboards off so it looks even. So, you know, they were thinking of everything back then. Can we open the door sure. and, and uh, show our viewers a little bit of the interior? Sorry, I got the car. <laughs> well, we won't worry about that. We're yeah. more, more interested in what we have on the dash yeah. right now. And I wondered if you could just uh, take us through some of the, the levers on the dash and also on the steering column yeah, we itself. Got, we got the emergency brake here on the, the right side. Uh, it's a three-speed standard transmission. Automatic uh, manual choke on it. It is a turnkey, and then you push the accelerator button to the side of the accelerator. That starts the car. Also comes with a cigarette or a cigar lighter built in, um, which uh, a lot of gentlemen used to smoke cigars, I guess, in the old days. So. I think everybody did yeah. in the old days. I think so. How about the levers that are right there on the steering wheel itself? One of them is an advanced lever for throttle, you were mentioning. Yeah, one's for uh, if you want to idle it up when it's sitting, you can just turn that, or I call it a cruise control, so you can sort of use it as you're driving along. The bottom one's for your headlights, high and low beams. Um, then you've got your advanced start up on the, on the dash up here. Um, you know, there's a lot of buttons on it, but uh, you get to normal. The other thing, back in 1929, there were no turn indicators on the vehicle at that no, time, so I guess you would use hand signals, hand would signals, you? Hand signals, yes, sir. Uh, right. And what about brake lights? Uh, it's got brake lights, so, okay. you know. Brake lights as well. It's got a spotlight on the front, which you can flip around. Uh, works great. So and what about these wings? These extra wings that are on the front those, windshield. They put those on, so you could adjust them out if you don't want the wind blowing in the car at you. So they are um, adjustable. You loosen off the wing nuts and move them out and in. So. We were chatting too as well about the uh, spare tire yep. and the fact that you have two spare tires, but yep. really with the jack, can you explain what happens if you get a flat? Well, well you obviously have to jack it up, and there's a big wheel nut uh, wrench that actually. Uh, you take off this big nut here, and it's a big wrench that cranks it off. So it's got a jack put underneath the suspension, jack it up, change the tire, obviously. So these are not just for looks, these are nope, totally actually, functional. Yes, they are. It and also comes with a built in um, uh, compressor in the vehicle, hooked up to the transmission. So there's a hose that you connect it into the floor pan, and then you go down and you blow up your tire if you want to just get back home if it's a slow flat. So that works sort of nice. Were these six volt cars or were they 12 volt cars? They were six volt. Six volt. It's, uh, originally, it's still a six volt it's car. Still six yeah. Whole car. Yeah. Let's let, talk about the beautiful paint job you have. I call it a two-tone paint, but it's really, yeah. there's three colors in this, aren't there? Well, the wheels are actually a reddish color. This is more of a, a super orange. test orange color, I call it, with the burgundy. Then we got the black uh, striping in here with the gold pinstripe to match the interior and the top. So and what, and what about this? Is this a courtesy light? That's an, yeah, you open the back doors and there's a button that turns those on. So uh, that's how the, those little lights work, only when the back doors open up. Let's do a walk around the back and you could perhaps tell us a little bit about some of the features of what we have here on the this back. This is your trunk here for uh, putting all your goodies in. It lifts up and 
it's packed full, obviously. I brought my wife with me, so she packed it full of stuff. And is this and an then, item that comes with the vehicle? Yes, it does. And this is uh, comes down like this, so you put your luggage pack on there and tie it down. So it, uh, you know, it's fully functional. Everything works well on it. And, it's just uh, absolutely rear gas gorgeous. Tank in the back of the car. And 1929. If you still have the, the vintage plate for the vehicle as well? Yes, we do. 29. It also comes with the, the covers for the uh, springs. Years ago, they used to pack them full of grease, and they keep them from getting dirt in them, and uh, keep the car from squeaking as you're driving down the road. So, so that, an that again is a, like a leather cover that's yes. right over the yeah, entire leaf spring. And it domes underneath there, wraps around. So, incredible vehicle. Yeah. yeah. But just notice these pads again, and you did comment about the pads that you have here. That's for the convertible top as it yeah, comes down. Yeah, it's a saddle. The top actually comes down onto that, and then there's a stainless steel J nut that goes over top, and cranks underneath, and holds it down. And does it have a protective year, cover, course, the tonneau yes, cover that goes over top of it as well? Yes, boot. This is not a daily driver? No, no, for it not. <laughs> this it comes out long. for special shows like this. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I just want to say on behalf of Georgia Bay Classics, we learned a lot about your beautiful 1929 Cadillac. Good you guys to have, have you on the show. show. Here. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay.